if you're gonna take any notes away from this whole video, is you gotta love yourself and you gotta work on that first. So find a way to start loving yourself because you deserve it, you're an amazing person, and your journey's gonna be a hell of a lot better once you uh, love that man looking back at you. What is going on, Internet? Eric Piano, it's back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand Alliance. Today, I am giving you five. Five rules that you gotta know if uh, you ever wanna have any shot at all of nailing your style. Okay, I've gotten some uh, I've gotten some feedback lately about my content. I read the comments. You guys like uh, man, I want to give you first a little history. I've been making videos for eight years now, and I've I've touched on pretty much almost everything you can touch on. I'll go back and kind of update the information, give it a new spin on it, kind of give new personality, a little jazz, change it up so it doesn't get so monotonous and dry. One of the things that I do is um, we put negative uh, words in our titles. And a big reason we do that is because we look at the data and then the analytics. And the most important for me is that you guys click on the video to watch it. Because if you never watch the video, then you're never going to be able to get any of the information. So we may have a negative title in there, but we want the positive message to come through within the video. Maybe I haven't been doing a good job of reinforcing the positive message that we're trying to share over here at Beard Brand. So this video is going to be a friendly reminder of really our deep down viewpoints on the world, how you should look at style, and how you should embrace your own personal journey to looking amazing. So rule number one is to work with what you got. And this is something we've been talking about for years, something I'll always talk about and it's finding who you are and embracing who you are as an individual. Looking in the mirror and loving the man who's looking back at you. Understanding that, you know, there's attributes of yourself. Maybe you're a little bit older than you used to be. Maybe you got some sunspots, maybe some wrinkles, maybe your hair's a little bit thinner than it used to be. You've got to love who you are right now in this moment. And as you love that person, what you're gonna be able to do is find a style that works with that person. So if you're thinning the hair, rather than trying to do a comb over and pretend like you're still young, you go with a buzz cut, you go with a shorter hairstyle. You've got to work with what you got. It's the most important thing. If you're gonna take any notes away from this whole video, is you gotta love yourself. And you gotta work on that first. And sometimes it comes from external forces like exercise or diet. Sometimes it comes through grooming. Sometimes it comes through uh, talking to somebody. All right, so find a way to start loving yourself because you deserve it, you're an amazing person, and your journey is gonna be a hell of a lot better once you uh, love that man looking back at you. Now let's talk a little more about like the, the granular details. Um, when in doubt, grow it out. <laughs> it's, uh, I've been saying that forever. I love that saying, when in doubt, grow it out. Whether it's your beard or whether your hair, because the reality is it takes a long time to grow, uh, but if you're going short, you gotta grow again. So every month you're going to grow about a, a half a what is it, a half an inch or centimeter of length. So you need to uh, you know just sit on it if you need to because you can always trim it up. You can always go back, but it's a lot harder to go forward. You have to wait a month if you take a half an inch off rather than just letting it go. So when in doubt, grow it out. Great advice. Great advice. Just sit on it. It'll be all right. You can trim it back. Rule number three is not just for style and grooming. I feel like it's for everything and it's progress over perfection. Uh, so many times guys will watch these videos and they wanna understand and know absolutely everything. They wanna trim the beard exactly right. They wanna condition it, style it exactly right. They wanna do all this. And sometimes like they get frozen in analysis. If they, they just don't do it because there's too much information or they take too long to do it. I wanna tell you, you learn so much more by doing and you wanna have action. So just go and do it. Try new styles, try new techniques, try new products, try new tools, grab that hair dryer, grab a round brush, figure it out. Maybe it doesn't work for you, and that's fine. Maybe it does, but through that action, you're gonna get closer to perfection than trying to be perfect on stage number one. Rule number four, and this, is, uh, this one is for interacting with your barbers, your stylists, other people, your friends. Over-communicate. 
I, I think probably the biggest problem that guys have when it comes to getting looks that they don't want is they don't know how to properly communicate to the appropriate people what they're going for. So how do you do that? How do you communicate better? I mean, I, I see this so many times on Reddit um, hairstyle advice and it's like, what kind of haircut is this? Well, the, the thing is, if you go to a barber and you say, hey, I want a, I want a side part. Well, there's so many different ways to do a side part. And they're like, do you want it short? Do you want to, you know, like, and then it gets to like, you know, you're, you're, you're essentially pulling the strings of the barber trying to instruct them on how to do the job. When in reality, you just need to communicate to them what kind of thing you're looking for. And the best way to communicate in my mind isn't by describing it or knowing the name of the hair cut or the hairstyle or the techniques or the guard lengths. The best way to communicate is by showing photographs or showing videos. So we've done videos of tons of different guys. We purposely do videos with guys who are young or old or full thick hair, thinner hair, red hair, brown hair. There's a whole variety of content that we've produced and a whole variety of styles that you'll be able to find a guy who kind of looks a similar look to you, similar kind of beard pattern growth or similar type of hair texture. Take that video to the barber, take it to this, the, the, the end screen and show them like, this is what I'm looking for. This is the hairstyle. Take photographs and say, this is how I'm looking to do it. And a good barber will say, well, your head shape is, you know, a triangle. You got a freaking triangle head. This isn't going to work for you. Or the guy here has like super long hair that goes down to his chin and your hair is only here. It's not going to work for you. So by showing exactly what you visualize in your mind, a barber is going to be able to, or a stylist is going to be able to really nail something that works for you and be able to overcome any kind of objections that there might be preventing you from getting an amazing style. Now the fifth rule, and one I'm probably guilty of uh, really kind of falling off the bandwagon, and I should, I should do a better job of this. I feel like I've, I've kind of let the community down a little bit, but to share the love. You know, like I say, uh, like with the worst videos, with the mistake videos, I try to entertain and I try to entertain as a way to like make people smile. But sometimes um, viewers will lose sight of the big message and I don't want that to happen. I want the big message of loving yourself to come through. And not only that, like also the message of it's your style, it's your hair, it's your face, it's your body. You have to do what you love. It doesn't matter what I say. I'm just a guy in the internet. It doesn't matter what your family says, your friends say. You have to be loving the guy who's looking back at you in the mirror. And then once you have that love, once you figure that out, once you figured out that that very hard task of loving that man looking back at you, share it, man. Share it with everyone. You know, share it with with your family, share it with other people who have invested in themselves. If you see someone with great style, say, hey man, great style great look. I think you're, you you just killed it. Like, tell me more. Share with me. Uh, the more you share, the more stuff will come back. The more tips you'll learn, the more tricks you'll learn, the more you'll be able to level up by just, you know, like that whole karma thing. You spread good things, good things come back. Those, my friends, are the five rules that you need to know, master, and own if you want to master maybe not just your style, but your life as a person. And enjoy this journey of life. It's the only one you got. You might as well look good while, while here, right? Cheers. Keep on growing. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.